Hi, I'm Stephen Leva, and I'm going to read from my new novel, Traveling in Space, which will be published this fall by Blue Roof Press. Uh, Traveling in Space is a science fiction first contact novel told completely from the point of view of the aliens. Or you might want to think of it as a 21st century Gulliver's Travels with Homo sapiens as the Little Pusians. Now, what do my aliens look like? Well, they are drop dead gorgeous. They are so gorgeous that one of their number, who they call the very ugly man, probably looks like a young George Clooney. In, uh, when we come to this scene, our two major aliens, who have been given the Earth names of Leaf and Sheila, are posing as homo sapien honeymooners off on a honeymoon at Michael Torme's Honeymoon Paradise Resort, which is on a beautiful uh, tropical island. Now, Michael Torme knows their aliens and, in fact, has contributed with them uh, to uh, uh, make sure no one else finds out so they can quietly study this Earth institution called marriage, an institution they don't have and one they find to be alien. In any case, Michael Torme has put him in a beautiful suite. It has a uh, screened-in patio that leads out to the beach. The narrator of the book is Leaf. Since the schedule of activities Mike had prepared proposed after breakfast relaxation along the beach, we decided to head there so that Sheila could ask her why. We opened the door of the mesh metal room and started out. Holy shit! It was Mike, who had just been passing. He rushed at us and pushed us back into the mesh metal room, following us in and slamming the door shut behind him. Then he pushed us further back until we were back in our suite. Oh, oh my God, I'm, you know, I'm incredibly grateful to be allowed to see the wonders that are you. But, but I gotta tell you, you can't go out on the beach like that. Like what, I asked, as I did not understand, which is always a good reason for asking. Nude. Our faces uh, continued to question. Buff. We were still quizzled. Naked. It was not making much sense. Without clothes. But if we decide to go swimming, clothes will get wet, Sheila reported correctly. That's why you wear swimsuits. Oh, what are they? Well, here. Mike ran to the luggage he had provided, which lay on the floor full of the clothes he had provided. Haven't you hung these up yet? He asked, despite the evidence before him that we had not. Where? I asked. In the closet. He pointed to a small section of the suite we had not yet explored. Oh, it doesn't matter. Here, here, here. He piled through the luggage, found and pulled out two items. Or three, to be accurate. One was for me, and he threw it at me. The other two were for Sheila, which he was kind enough to walk over and present to her face, not quite to face. She held them up, two small stashes, snatches of cloth. These will hardly cover up my buff naked nudity, Sheila accurately observed. They cover enough, Mike said. What exactly do they cover? Sheila was curious to know. Your genitalia, now put them on. The what? Your genitalia, now put them on. I put on the swimsuit, which did, not indeed which did indeed cover my genitalia, and Sheila put on the portion of her suit that covered her genitalia, somewhat. Mike, she said as she was pondering how to don the portion of the suit that was left, finally figuring out its proper placement. Not to be completely pedantic with you, but these, she was referring to her maternal nutrient glands, are not genitalia. Yes, of course, I know that. And as much as I am currently loving the open and free expression of them, among certain segments of society, they are considered naughty bits. I'm not an expert in your language, I commented, but bits do not seem the proper word to cover what you are trying to cover. Oh, brother, do I agree with that? Whereas my upper torso bits do seem actually to be bits, and yet I have nothing to cover them with. Uh, that's because they are not naughty. They are not. That's right. So bits that are truly bits are not naughty. But bits that are obviously misnomered bits are naughty. Mike had a thought about this, but, could not, but you could see that he either could not or did not want to go into it. Look, I just need Sheila to put her top on. We do not have nude bathing here. Really? We do not have any other kind. 
Ah, Mike seemed to have a quick moment somewhere else. Do you think as a return of my hospitality I could get a trip to your planet? No, I'm afraid that would not be possible, I said. We are not intending to go back. But possibly you can come up to the life ship at some point and go swimming with us there. I would love to. Of course, you will be considered quite beyond the norm if you insist. Sheila said as she struggled to position each maternal nutrient gland comfortably in its assigned pouch on wearing a swimsuit. Oh, I would adhere to all your cultural norms. All right, Mike said. I absolutely promise I would be extremely diplomatic about that. Thank you.